following is an audio excerpt from Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo, by John Abdo. Wrestling Rules At the conclusion of their swearing in ceremony, athletes and performers separate into their independent delegations as officials declare the rules for each event. For wrestling, there are two basic styles for competitive wrestling, ground and upright, each of which has its own rules. Upright wrestling is the style contested at these games. All participants, regardless of sport, will compete naked. As per personal preference, an athlete may wrap his penis in a condesm to restrain the glutes from slipping out of its propitial sheath. Although the testicles can be shown, and many athletes proudly do so, exposure of the penis head is considered indecent by the Greeks. Wrestlers will draw lots from a basin known as a cleroid. The athletes are paired with those who draw the matching letter, alpha alpha, beta beta, and so on. After the athletes' names and countries of origin are announced, in preparation for the contest, gay mates will rub olive oil onto both wrestlers' physiques. The primary purpose is to allow dirt to cling to the skin when the athlete touches the ground, leaving no argument as to when a wrestler has fallen. The wrestlers will then enter the skama and stand upright, facing one another. This position is referred to as cystasis, or standing together. As the contest begins, many wrestlers set themselves forehead to forehead, then start the match from that head-on position, but this is not always the preferred stance for all wrestlers. All athletes must obey the judging official, or Hilanati K.I., who will be holding a papyrus stick to control the match. After he shouts, Apotea, the match begins. When the Hellenidikai notices an athlete stalling, or disobeying the rules, he will flog that athlete with his stick as many times as he feels suits the violation. Getting whipped is an embarrassment to the athlete, his coaches, and his state. And, being prone to rash judgments, tens of thousands of spectators will likely accuse the athlete of both dishonoring Zeus and breaking the sacred vows. Match rules for both wrestling styles, ground and upright, are straightforward. No punching, kicking, biting, eye gouging, scratching, or poking a finger into any orifice. Grabbing or striking your opponent's genitals is also off limits. Although many athletes have learned deceptive tactics which intentionally violate the rules, the Hellenitikai are trained to recognize such infractions, and violators will be justly penalized. Scoring Upright Wrestling no body part, other than the bottom of the athlete's feet, can touch the dirt. And yet technically, such body parts as hands and knees are allowed to touch the dirt when applying certain offensive maneuvers. However, employing these techniques often results in officiating debates and vehement protests, so many wrestlers avoid such tactics so as to prevent any appeals and stay within the legal limits of the sport. Nevertheless, other than the feet, when any body part touches the ground, the dirt will cling to the oil-smeared skin, at which point the Hellenitikai will declare Tozi, indicating that wrestler has fallen to the dirt under the attack of his opponent, thus forending the round. There are no time limits. Victory is declared when one opponent is the first to cause the other to fall to the dirt three times. A clean sweep, or 3-0 match, is referred to as a triactor and the winner is regarded as an unfallen victor, as he never fell to the dirt. Another form of victory is when one opponent causes the other to submit, withdraw, or forfeit the match by way of injury default. When evenly paired, many matches are contested for hours, and some matches end or five rounds, or three to two scoring. When an opponent fails to enter the skama, the game wrestler, in spite of never stepping inside the pit, is declared a no-dirt or dustless victor, better known as Akonidi. If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe, and I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo Akroton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy, and perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.